Hey everybody, this is Larelia, and today um, I want to talk about something that um, is not commonly talked about um, in the industry of rebuilding your credit, repairing your credit, whatever you want to call it, eliminating debt, and that has to do with the story. Um, everyone has a story. Everyone has um, a money story. Um, and I like to say that a lot of people have a credit story. Now you may be wondering, okay, what do you mean by a story? I want to share a story, uh, <laughs> share another story with you. Um, a few years ago, um, about four years ago, I attended a seminar. Uh, the seminar was conducted um, by T. Harv Eckert. Um, if you've never heard of T. Harv Eckert, um, He's an individual that helps people um, with personal development, um, rebuilding, I guess, your, your, your money consciousness, awakening your money consciousness. Basically, to sum it up, um, he helps you to tap into um, building wealth for yourself. And what is very... Um, different from what he does as opposed to other people is that he works on a lot of uh, subliminal stuff that we deal with in our mind and um, our subconscious that we have to deal with on a daily basis whether you know it or not and the one thing that he talked about um, was that he said everyone has a money story and that's what I said in the beginning and what do I mean by a money story? According to T. Harv Eckert, and I'm going to put a link under below because he wrote, um, you know, a New York Times best-selling book. Um, it's called, I think, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. I forget. But anyway, um, he goes into um, how everyone has a story in terms of, and, and let me give you an example because there was times in my life when I dealt with that as well. Um, a lot of times we tell ourselves we don't have the money, we assume that everyone around us is in the same situation, when in all actuality, it can just be our present circle, but it doesn't mean that everyone in the world is like that. Um, we kind of live with the fact that we're struggling financially because that's just the way it is that's just you know my biological makeup um whatever downtrodden story that has to do with money um many of us have been either in head we've been given that story from our parents or those that we look up to it could be your parents it can be um, uh, uh, your uncle, your aunt, your relatives, your significant other. It can even be in your church, <laughs> uh, believe it or not, you know, any spiritual leaders that you look up to. Um, and so he talks about that in order for anyone to be able to obtain any type of financial success that they want in life, whatever that may be, because everyone does not want to be, does not want Oprah Winfrey's money, does not want Bill Gates money. But many people just want the ability to not have to worry about bills getting paid, worrying about, you know, how am I going to eliminate the, the debt? And so in order to even get to that place, of doing whatever it is that you want financially for yourself, you have to rid yourself of the story. You have to get rid of that story. And so he helps you in the seminar through a, a series of, um, uh, of, um, of programming, uh, mental programming that you have to do. Um, I mean, the list goes on and on. There, there are things that you have to do to rid yourself of the story because if you think about it, if you're watching this video and you are over 18, depending on your age, the story that you are telling yourself 
has been a story that you've inherited from someone else and you have been living with that story for years and years and years and years. So if you are 18, you've been living with that story for 18 years. If you're 25, you've been living with the story for 25 years. If you're 35, 45, whatever the case may be. I know you're wondering, okay, Larelle, well, what does this have to do with credit? That is the same thing regarding your credit. Many people will never get success financially in terms of their credit until they eliminate that story that they're telling themselves. For example, you don't know how often I get an email saying, I really want to get help. I really feel like that you could possibly help me. But, keyword, but I'm afraid of this. I don't think that this is going to work. Whatever the case may be. And, and already, before I can even reply, I already know that the person is not set up for success. Whether it's from me, whether it's from somebody else. If you ever go into any situation with the hopes that everything is going to go wrong, is going to be downtrodden, um, your guard is up, it's not going to work. Whether it's coming from me, whether it's coming from another lady, another man... A group of people who are helping you it's because you are holding on to a story that you eventually have to get rid of there's a video that I put up before this video where I did a live interview with a person who had took my class back in June and has been able to get results and in August she you know got into um, the 700 club and I always tell people, because I get the emails, like, oh, I want those results too. But once again, but then they say, but. And then they go into the story that they're holding themselves to. Holding themselves on. They're holding on to the story of whatever that case may be. I don't think this is going to work. I don't think that's going to work. Um, I mean, the list goes on and on. And the one thing that I know this from those who do get success of those who decided I have to let go of that story, whether they're subconsciously not doing it because most people don't even know they have a story. So I'm not even going to sit here and tell you that most of the people I work with enter in um, a, a partnership with me where I'm helping them where like, okay, I got a story I'm letting go. They, they may not understand they have a story but the one thing that they do know that whatever I'm doing does not work and I am willing to humble myself to say my way ain't working let me try somebody else's way that is the only way in life with anything for a person to get results they have to decide, and, 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 and I, I'm not even, you know, I hate to use that word, but it's the only word that I, I can really think of right now. And I don't want to say vulnerable, um, because most people think like, oh, you know, uh, I may get got, you know. So, so you know, that's, that's why I got to make sure I stay on my P's and Q's. I may get got. And a lot of times what got you <laughs> is the fact that you are an adult still struggling financially knowing that there's help out there and you will not get it that is the gotcha so if anybody wants to say i'm that way because remember it's the story we tell ourselves so many people are going to watch this video like well i'm like that because i don't want to get got so i i got to protect mine i got this that and the other but what really got you is that situation because like i said um i i was saying to some students um that rebuilding your credit is easy increasing your credit score is easy but what's hard is asking for help that's hard 
what's hard is admitting that what you're currently doing is not working. That's hard. The other stuff is easy. It's the fact that people will not get out of their own way. And that's what I said. In anything in life, you have to decide enough is enough. That's really it. That's why I said, what story are you holding on to? Until you can let that story go, eliminate that story. Goes back to like I always tell my story. My story was back in 1999, I had a debt collector levy my bank account, took two, was awarded a judgment, levy my bank account, took $2,000 out of my bank account. Whoop. At that time, there was no online banking. There were no text messages. Um, I didn't even know until I got the remittance in the mail because it was in my savings account, not my checking, and said that X amount of money, 2000 and something dollars, was 2200 and some change was taken out of my account. That day, I decided I'm letting that story go. I said, you know what? Never again. I don't know what I have to do. I don't know what books I have to read. I don't know what information I have to take on. But I know something about this is not right. I know. I, and, and, and like I said, I didn't even know that this stuff existed. But I knew that wasn't right. And I said, I'm going to figure out how this works. Because it's never going to happen to me again. And, and, and so I am going to leave it at that. Because I'm already at 11 minutes. But let that story go. If you really want help. You have to let that story go. For example, I am doing a class tonight, my last four-week cycle class for 2016. Class kicks off tonight. It will go into four weeks. Many of those students will go into 2017 with better credit. Like I said, they, now, remind you, out of a pool of students, only one or two are going to take massive action. It's going to actually listen to what I say. The rest, although they're attending the class, they're still going to try to do it their way. They're still